<coughs> shalom, shalom. I want to start off. Call hello, la Yahweh, by Yeshim, Yahweh Shah, Wahar Chak, Hodash Prakta, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and salutations to the Akim around the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth for faith and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so, now more than ever. Shalom to the confusion of faith, brethren, that were slacky that joined, that are joined onto our ranks, as well as those that were hoping to join onto our ranks. Um, Shalom to Akwaf and the Akim out there listening and learning. Hopefully this is an edifying lesson. Once again, this is the Brother Yawasop out of the GMS Cleveland Church. Um, a fellow servant, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, um, Coming at you with another lesson. Um, I'm reading out this Trumpopolis book. Um, like I said, reading a subsection, talking about the economic reset. Um and I'm just going to jump right into it, but um, I want to start off with um, the scripture because we're going to keep on reading it. This year is the year of Karagma. So uh, with this whole economic reset, they're pushing this chip. You know, the chip will be, the microchip will be, you know, that next form of currency. You get what I'm saying? Because just like the book stated, you know, uh, you know, money manipulation, uh is a form of witchcraft and sorcery. And, you know, I've heard people go into that, you know, how this money is a talisman and how it's witchcraft and sorcery. Because basically they're making something, they're making, you're giving value of something out of nothing. That's sorcery. You know, if you ever watched the movie Blow, um, they called, I forgot, um, you know, because they were actually, uh, they were Jake, you know what I mean? Like Colombians and whatnot. Uh, well, you, you had the, the, the Edomite that, got caught up and hooked up all in it. But my point being, it was, it was a, uh, a saying that the one um, Jake, the Colombian, had said when he met the Edomite, the character that Johnny Depp played, um, Boston George, George something, I, f I forgot what his name was, but I know they called him Boston George. He said that basically they were, they called him something, they, a magic man, because they could make money appear out of nothing because, you know, Colombia considered... Um, considered um, a poor country, like a lot of these countries is, like Venezuela, you know, these places got, are, 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 are um, steeped in natural resources, so how is they poor, because uh, Esau, you know, this is how much the devil he is, and how much, you know, Satan really deal with him, because he has convinced the whole world, you know, Esau basically is coming after your resources, so he convinces with the help of, you know, NATO and, you know, the beast and all that. But he convinces, like with, like I said, with Venezuela. Is it Venezuela the Venezuelans, the, the, those are Jake. They they are starving and going through all this with Maduro and all this, catching hell. But, you know, it's, it actually did because this all goes back to when um, the one president made the statement about Bush and called him the great Satan. You know what I mean? He said you can literally smell the sulfur. You know what I mean? And then after that, you know, the Venezuela, I think that dude got killed, if I'm not mistaken, and just all kind of shit happened to them. My point being, you know how many natural resources down there? They had all the oil. Well, not all of it, of course, but they had a lot of oil. They're rich in oil. They're rich in, like, uh, certain, um, I think, I believe um, one of the brothers just got me to, hip to the maca root. I believe maca root is, um, like, a lot of natural herbs and you know what I mean you know like Colombia is good with coffee beans they got a lot of natural stuff but you know at the end of the day these Edomites that's just like for instance like they put the the, the um that that ticket on a, a diamond and I, I was listening to the brother from GMS Kansas go on today he said you know was it, it was somebody that went into as far as a diamond diamond are, are beautiful you know and whatnot but that's low. Le no, it was actually the brother from um, Ancient of Days. He said that's low level, though. You, you, you take the time to think about it. You go into emeralds and, and sapphires and all these different other gems. Diamonds is, you know what I mean? You know, they, because Esau has put a value to it. Like, if you ever seen blood diamond, you know what I mean? You motherfuckers finding diamonds the size of your fucking hand, and they're buying them. People risking their lives off of them or for them, and they're buying them and all that just because of simple fact. You know, it's just to control the market, basically. Because if you can go get this big-ass rock, 
Because that's what, I mean, you know, it, it has properties, but it's, I mean, like I said, it's low level. You know, they, you, like I said, you know how much properties, because, you know, those, everything has a left hand and a right hand side, you know what I'm saying? So the same way, you know, things can be done and manipulated on the left hand side, you know, same with the right. And that's um, the spirit, because I was just listening to the brother, um, Brothers from GMS Ancient of Days. Obviously, y'all know that's like one of my favorite camps I like to listen to. I'm always promoting them. But, you know, when I came to the truth, that's who I was listening to. You know, I check out who I check out whoever the spirit draws me to, but I've been listening to them for years. Anyhow, uh it's saying how, you know, the most high created both the left hand and the right hand side, but the right hand is stronger. He's gonna use the right hand to crush the left, which is the truth. So um I ain't mean to Run off at the mouth, but um, this is Revelations 14. Um, once again, I'm gonna keep on bringing this scripture up because this is the deem the year of the Karagma 14. I'm gonna start at nine. It says, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his right hand, meaning the mark of the beast or the microchip, you know, when this economy crashes and this is their um you know way to, to direct it their order out of chaos that that means to you know this is this is your way to buy and sell to the economic reset verse 10 the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of yahweh which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation and he shall be burned with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and the presence of the lamb so basically if you with this economic reset, if you uh, feel you, you're you going to take this chip trying to survive or uh, not putting your trust in the most high and putting your trust in Esau and actually going to like agree to be in his system, there's a punishment for that. So um, I'm going to continue with the lesson. It's starting at page 226. It says, will America fulfill his destiny? Despite Trump's many imperfections, millions of Christians believe God has raised them up to make America great again. <laughs> Yeah, that was funny. Anyhow, it's like it. By helping it to fulfill its prophetic destiny. But for Yahweh to use America, he must restore to whatever degree America's economic power, which was intentionally brought down by anti-American, anti-Christian, globalist elite. And that's why I said, as much truth as this book reveals, this got to be full of shit, or these guys got to be on some kind of pedestal for you to even think, you know what I'm saying, like, he said that God, see, like I said, that's an, another thing I noticed. A lot of these so-called Christians and, you know, people, they say how, like, like that land, the land of Israel or those Israelis, you know what I'm saying? It's just so funny how the most I did this. I mean, it's amazing, beautiful, and it's kind of comical because, you know, they supposed to be the Israelites, but they call the Israelis. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, they don't want you to see. I mean, like that scripture that's a, a Malachi where it says that his name is dreadful amongst the heathen. You know, they can't utter the name. That's why they don't want us to say it. You know what I mean? Like, it's just beautiful. But for you to think that, I mean, he can't make America great. He His his, his theory of making America great was to start Uber jobs. <laughs> I mean, I got a job right out of the place that sucks so fucking bad. But it, it's a lot of Jake up in there, you know what I'm saying? But these are the two-third Jake, you know what I mean? Real talk, it's, it's, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I tried to give the truth to one brother because he told me he a, 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 a boozle. And, you know, I gave him the truth, you know, but at the same time, some of these dudes got the heavy spirits on them, you know what I mean? And like I say, I gave it to him, so, you know, but my, my hands is clean. A lot of these dudes there, though, are just, I mean, like, they two-thirds, eight, you can tell. And if it's somebody in there that the most high wants me to uh, awaken and open the eyes, well, I'm not awakening anybody. I mean, to be the conduit to pass on his word, may he order my steps so I bump into him or her. Because, like I said, at the end of the day, You like you can't make this place great again. Like I said, like I like I said, I got a job, and I, I, I appreciate the most. I blessing me with you know, uh, breaking breaking bread with me, allowing me to eat. Cause I, it was times where he wouldn't let me get a job. You know what I'm saying? And I could understand that now. Like I said, they say that the most high moves in mysterious ways. But 
at the end of the day, like I'm watching these. You, you can see how beaten up these people is, because literally, like these people were talking about filing their income taxes, so they, you know, getting their money. But nobody was really upset about. It. They, 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 they kind of feel in their spirit. Oh, he's gonna shut the government down. And I've been here, brothers in the truth say that again. I'm hearing two thirds Jake say it, but at the same time, nobody's really upset. They just like we gotta hurry and file before he shuts it down. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, damn, we broke it. Well, they broke it. Uh, I'm gonna stop there.